Hi friends, today what we are going to do is we are going to make a sun catcher. Okay, so it's going to be really fun. Um, uh, we are going to make a sun catcher uh, like a stained glass art. Okay, so let's see the supplies that we need. We need markers. We need something to make a circle with. We need a paper. We need some oil. A cotton ball to spread the oil or get a small piece of some fabric to spread the oil okay so the oil can be either mineral oil, mineral oil or some vegetable oil okay so before we start what you need to do is we need to check whether these markers are not like a, I have already tested it so the markers should not uh, spread okay so take a piece of scrap paper and take the marker and then let's do some test okay just color a bit maybe and then you don't want the colors to bleed okay we need to check uh, that it doesn't do that I'm going to dip my uh, cotton ball in some oil and then I'm going to turn the paper around and then spread this see the marker is not spreading so this is fine if you don't have uh, markers at home if you have permanent markers that will work um, or you can just draw this uh, project along with me and it doesn't have to be a um, sun catcher okay so because it's going to be a fun project anyway so what we're going to do is we are going to take the paper and let me take my put marker away let me take my permanent marker you guys can draw with the permanent marker or you can draw with the uh, the black marker that comes with the marker but I like to draw with the permanent marker so, oh, this is not the permanent marker so first thing we are going to do is we are going to draw a circle so there should be enough space on the sides what we are drawing is we are drawing a sun okay uh, so for the sun this is going to be the circular part of the sun and then uh, we need space for the rays so put it in the middle okay find a lid that is the right size for your paper and then hold down the lid and then trace the circle okay now what you need to do is you need to draw the rays uh, of the sun so you can make the rays the way you want so let me show you a few ways you can draw the rays on my scrap paper this is oil let me take another paper and then draw so this is the sun, right? So if you want, you can make the rays like triangles. Okay. Um, maybe you can make it like rectangles. Okay. Um, you can the next thing you can make it like this like a flower <laughs> maybe to make it look more like a sun i'm going to add some lines coming the rays coming out like that it's your sun make it the way you want okay maybe i can add some 
does it look more like a flower now i don't know it's up to you how you make your sun okay you can have a combination of triangle rectangle triangle rectangle Okay. or you can have this just sun like that like you normally do right uh, or if you want to make it even fancier you can add some dots for the in between ones like that okay um, or you can make these uh, this one more fancier by adding lines like this. And the triangle one, or the rectangular ones, you can add lines inside like that. Okay. So those are some of the ways you can draw the rays we don't want to be the one we, do you want it to look like the normal uh, like something that you see normally no make it as uh, fancy as you want okay what i'm going to do is um i'm going to make it make my son watch this okay make it look like somebody tied sun's rays into a it's like a hair like that unruly hair and somebody's tying the unruly hair so that and then some coming out like this and then a bow here so what I'm doing is like that a triangle and then line like that and then it's like a uh, somebody tied it with the bow the hair okay So I'm adding more rays. Same thing over here. A small triangle like that. And some hair sticking out and a bow. I'm going to fill in the extra space with some unruly rays to make it look like it is the um, hair coming out. Now we are going to draw the eyes. So eyes again you can draw different ways so uh, maybe i'll draw some eyes on this side you see so one way to draw the eye is like nice big ones like that to oval shape like that i'm going to leave a shiny spot and then fill it in okay you can draw the eyes the sway if you want like it's like a sleepy eye okay i'm going to leave some shine and then fill the rest maybe you can add some eyelash <coughs> that you can add the eyes maybe this time I'm always uh, leaving a shine okay uh, it can be circular shaped eyes right or if you want you can have closed eyes hmm? then you can have eyes this way 
so it's like a rainbow and line on the bottom and all, for all these you can either have eyelashes or not okay so I have shown you guys some examples after you draw the eyes uh, I'll show you how to draw the mouth we are going to draw eyes and nose and mouth for a sun okay I'm going to have the eyes like that okay now the nose I'm going to give a small circular nose like that you can have the nose this way like that like this it's up to you so three ways to draw the nose okay now for the mouth you can have mouth like that or you can add some teeth you can have a line like this and then maybe like that right you can just have um, the mouth with so line like that and like this and a upside down you that will look like the tongue sticking out so I showed you three ways simple mouth mouth with teeth mouth like that mouth with a uh, tongue sticking out go ahead draw whatever way you want so I'm just going to add the mouth like that and instead of these cheek lines what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these lines for my I'm going to make this line a little bit more thick got it uh, if you want instead of the cheek lines this cheek lines you can even add lines like that can you see or just like I did here like this okay so so we have the sun ready now all that we need to do is color our sun so for that I'm going to take my so in case you don't have uh, markers go ahead color your sun with a um, crayon okay and then do the same thing when after you're done uh, we are going to put oil on the back okay so I'm going to uh, why we are doing with the, the, this thing with markers is markers are really bright right if it is crayon you'll have to push really hard okay so that's why I suggest using markers so maybe what I should do is um, if you guys did the drawing with the pencil i suggest you guys go around, go now and outline everything with black first okay because it should look like a uh, stained glass okay or it's a sun catcher right so you should have the lines really um outlined so if your lines are not done with the marker go ahead and make it to the marker after that you are going to color this in okay so if you want you can add some maybe to make it a nice fancy so I'm going to just use uh, some colors other than um, yellow or and orange okay and then I'm going to put it around here just want to make this really colorful so if these any of these also you can do the same thing 
in between these pieces you can go around and make shapes like that and just we are just making it really nice and colorful that is the idea okay so because it's a sun catcher it will look nice if there are more colors So whatever way you drew the sun, you can go ahead and uh, make some. Did I use this color? No. Maybe I can put one more over here. Okay. So in between like this i put two or three okay i think that is enough now i'm going to grab the colors that you usually use for the sun so i'm going to maybe so what are the colors that you usually use for the sun it's either yellow orange and red red is when uh, you feel the sun is really hot right um so i'm just going to grab those colors maybe i'm going to start the color the nose red the cheeks i'm going to make it orange okay and let's see i'm going to color the sun the whole thing yellow so this is going to take some time you need to be careful not to go outside the lines i'm trying to stay within the lines um, if you want, you can color inside the eyes also yellow or if you want to show uh, that the sun is really hot, maybe you can make the eyes on the inside. If you, if you do the eyes this way, maybe you can color it, the, this, the lids of the eyes, um, orange or red, okay? And again, if you do the mouth with teeth showing you can color the teeth some other color other than yellow so that would work and then the tongue if you do with the tongue sticking out maybe you can use red there right so i'm trying to fill this whole sun i'm trying to color in uh one direction as much as i can because i don't want uh it to look messy so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use orange to color the rays or the hair in this case to go uh, it's okay if the some part of it is not colored that is fine this the sun look like a little girl with the hair sticking out or like a little boy with a um, hair tied up that's it for me, when i look at it it looks like that i don't know what you guys are saying okay doesn't matter whether my uh your son uh looks like mine okay so maybe the hair bows i'm going to make it red color the background with the crayons 
this because I don't want it to be really bright. So I'm going to take yellow now and then I'm going to color that. So this way. Did you guys have fun for Father's Day? I hope you guys made something special for Father's Day. All right? And hope you guys are having fun now because it's summer, right? So I colored the background also. Uh, maybe I will put a little bit of orange. I'm going to take some light orange this time. I don't want it to be too bright. I'm going to go over this lightly. Now what I'm going to do, one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the some of the lines and make it really thick. Because for a stained glass, you can see the lines really well. So maybe I'll use the black from the marker set. I like to do this the um, the lines one more time in the end so that that way. If, see, if some uh, color gets into the other side, I can go over that with the black. So. Yep. Should I make the mouth a little bit thicker? Yeah. Maybe these hair lines will look nice if I make it thick. These rays. Maybe this is so the sun. The sun feels really hot, so the, the sun has tied up the hair. Whoever have long hair will know how it is during summer, right? You'll have to tie up your hair when it gets really hot, so that you don't feel the heat. <laughs> so maybe the sun feels super hot and it tied up the hair. Maybe the eyes and the nose also. I'll outline everything. So now uh, we are done with the drawing part. Now we, it's like now a normal painting, right? We need to turn this into a sun catcher. So what we are going to do next is we are going to take our oil and then I'm just putting my <laughs> this thing back. Uh, you're going to take the oil. Uh, if you have mineral oil or baby oil at home, that is what, that will work best. But if you don't have, you can just use the regular vegetable oil. So take um, a cotton like this and then you're going to dip it in the oil. Okay. It should not be dripping. And then I, it's not on this, this side. We are going to turn the paper and then we are going to apply the oil on the other side. So you may have to go back and dip your, uh, the cotton and then you need to do this. Can you see what's happening when we are putting the oil on top of this? 
it's getting you can see whatever we paint uh, do on the other side really well over here okay so I'm just covering up my whole paper and then if there is any excess oil I'm going to wipe it off maybe you can take another cotton ball and then wipe it off so that it is not dripping with oil okay mine so when we turn it around see what has happened um i'll put it on my window and show you okay so um this is the art for today till we meet next time uh, i'll be showing how it looks on the window okay so don't worry so till we meet next time bye bye